I created the Puerto Underground series in the late 80s as a way to entertain my friends with images of a sleepy little fishing village located deep in southern mainland Mexico. Over the past 20 years, I have seen Puerto Escondido grow and become what many believe to be the heaviest beach break on the planet. This is my continued vision. My name is Jose Ramirez. I am a lifeguard here in Puerto Escondido. I have seen some of the heaviest waves at this beach. Now you will too. This is Puerto Underground 4, Alma y Corazón. I have lived in Puerto Escondido my whole life, and I couldn't think of any place with more heart and soul. My name is Tim Hinkle, and I first arrived here in Puerto Escondido in March of 1978. What we found here was, was incredible surf, a real mellow vibe with the locals. We're still really good friends of ours, Chewy and Fidencio and Juan and a couple guys from Acapulco. In that time, in the, in the late 70s, there was no construction on the beach at all. We stayed basically in Marinero, and that was the most special time of my life, basically being on it. At, in those years in Puerto Escondido, you know, we felt like we had just a real special place and that we shared with a few friends and the local surfers, which we had a really good comradey with. And as far as the surf goes, now the barrels there were just incredible, especially the west swells we used to get in October and November. When we get a little bit of west in those swells, the right to line up way down there, real close to the rocks at Santa Fe. And the barrels there would just get, depending on the tide, some of the most deepest, incredible barrels you could ever imagine. every day, warm water, you're gonna have to wear a wetsuit, and you can get barreled the whole year. I'm gonna be surfing Puerto Escondido till the end of my day. 
jumps into his car, drives on down the road. There's so many signs, but he still don't know where to go. But right when he thinks he does, he gets up lost again. But he keeps on trying, cause he's gonna win the race he's in. I was surfing my first time in Carrizalillo, the Marinero. Then I started to see all those guys surf and say, oh my god, I have to try to surf right now. He walks into a nightclub and he starts to drink. He says, hey, maybe, baby, you could have a drink with me. Forget about the things in life that you don't want. It can be heavy, but you know it's it's always worth checking out and testing your limits. My name is Carlos Coco Nogales. I born in Aguascaliente City, and when I was five, we moved to Mexico City. Then from Mexico City, I ran away from home when I was ten. I, I bought a bus ticket and came here with you know only a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. And I remember when I got here, I used to walk in the beach at the beach break and used to see huge waves and perfect speeding barrels. And I'd be like, oh my God, I want to do that. I want to do that so bad. I, I have to be there, you know. I, it was the first time in my life that I saw actually waves about 20 feet plus. And I was like, it was so scary, but it was something that I really wanted to learn and, and I'm going to be there, you know. I know. This place is a very, very heavy place, very heavy wave, very respectful wave. This is the Mexican style, man. This is the heaviest beach break in the world. You can die here, but you can also get the best barrel of your life here, man. It's pretty heavy here at beach break. Cicatella, I think, is one of the best places. Huge waves, eight, eight, ten feet. I like those, those size. Better for me, the big one. Here we go again, kicking it with friends Pull out of the toilet and get right to the point Falling on my own, got no place to go You wait for me outside, take it for a ride In my life, on the B-side
Hey, I'm Katal. I was born and raised here in Puerto Escondido. When I was little, I was afraid to serve the beach break, but now I'm a little bit older, I can charge it. Me encanta meterme aquí en el beach break de Cicatela y me encanta entubarme. But I can talk English because my mom's Canadian and my dad's Mexican. When I grow up in the future, I want to be surfing the WCT, just like Kelly Slater. Being a kid here in Puerto is like everywhere. You just go to school in the morning, get out of school, eat, go surf. And watch out world, we're coming up. It's always fun to watch the professional surfers here at the beach break. Just like the local boys, they charge. This is Sterles coming from the North Shore of Oahu, back down here in Puerto, charging it, watching everyone go balls out. If Jamie's wave was out of control, I thought it was a closeout. I was fucking so blown away that he made that. He kicked out of like about a half mile down the beach. That's why I came here, Porto's rules, dude. It's so strong. This is the shizzles, my nizzles. Uh, that was great until that boogie boarder stuffed me. The 
is probably one of the heaviest beach breaks I've ever uh, surfed or encountered. We get pretty much eight, nine months out of the season. We're just sitting at Hawaii, uh, some crazy hollow waves on reef breaks over there. It's really similar to pipe, but um, it has its own subtleties, a mix between sunset and the regard that you have to hunt it down or chase these big old TP peaks. It's uh, like YMS shore break, of course, because it breaks on sand, but then it has the perfection of pipeline and backdoor, so it's kind of those three waves all tied into one. It's cool because it's so freaking bloody hot that it uh, kind of makes the beers taste a little better. selfish outlook on life in general. Everybody loves a good wipeout. Every day at this beach, you can see plenty of them. Here is a few of the better ones. Puerto Escondido is pa very powerful, yeah. My situation brings me down again. What I'm left is long on the right. One day, one session, yeah? <laughs> I should make that way. What happened? Uh, I, I take off, wait inside, then a little bit late, yeah? Then just pounding so hard. There's a reason to be sketched to this place, I mean, regardless of who you are. Porta will take your limbs and tear them apart. I was out surfing this one day, it was about 6 to 8. I pulled into a wave which it pinched and then closed out. I was severely poked by the nose of my board, thrown down. The lifeguards, they came to my rescue. They helped me go to back to Pepe's with his office. He's a doctor in Porto and I was able to get sewn up quick. <laughs> It's like a freight train. If you're not ready for it, it'll kick your ass. Look what it did to me. Here in Puerto, we get to see some amazing barrel riding. And along with the barrel riding, of course, we get tremendous amount of wipeouts. And with the wipeouts, we get to see a lot of broken boards. 
My name is Miguel Ramirez. I fix boards in Puerto Escondido. In the last 25 years, I have fixed 30,000 broken boards. Yes, I made it. Yes, I made it. Hey, the gringos break a lot of balls, man! It's good for me! Porto's got its moments, but there's a lot of other places in Mexico that you would not believe. I'm not 
My name is Roger Ramirez, a loco in Puerto Escondido. This is my back job. Now looking back on all the days go by, I sit and wonder what it'd be like if I now went away. Well, I see the world the way I do, the memories that brought me to this place that I now call my home today. Wanna go there, and I'm not scared of time. That's how we do it in Puerto Escondido. Chingón. Jose Ramirez, I am from Puerto Escondido. I've been lifeguarding for like 11 years in this old heavy team of Puerto. Woman, take care of your man. Give him love and strength. For he works day and night. And he don't take no breaks. He wants to provide for his family. So one day his children will be free. Uh, my name is Miguel Diaz. My nickname is Westside. I'm from here, Port Escondido, and I do for living is photography. Only the strong shall survive in these jungle streets. You must stand strong like a lion. Hey, my name is Eric Ramirez, and I am local from Port Escondido. We'll be forever. My name is Raul Noyola, I am from Apuero Escondido. Uh, I am a local here in the town and uh, I have 29 years old. I started surfing in 1982. I am uh, the first surfing, the second generation here in Apuero Escondido. I'm very happy because I am from here, a lot of good surfers here. Don't let them brainwash your minds. Don't let them teach you wrong. 
with Eurocentric lies. This is the land of our people. My name is Roberto Salinas and I'm a local in Puerto Escondido. Don't let them change ya. Be down for who you are. Stand tall with pride and represent your culture. By my name is Leilani. This is my sister Karina. We like to surf at Carrizalillo. Like to surf with my sister Leilani. Best waves of my life. I love the fact that you can take off on a wave and, and just cruise and stall and just pull in and get barreled for five seconds, come on and pull in again, get barreled for another five seconds, and come on and a couple turns and get barreled again for five seconds. It's, I don't know, it's unbelievable. It's like a dream. When I'm high, you keep on tripping, tripping, tripping on me. When I'm Ripping it. Wait, <laughs> let me take my teeth out. Ripping out. You keep on cheating, cheating, cheating on me. When I'm gone. You keep on cheating, cheating, cheating on me now. When I'm gone. You keep on cheating, cheating, cheating on me. When I'm I've been here three weeks and I've served every day. You keep on stepping, stepping, stepping on me. So when I'm down, you keep on cheating. Jake called me up and said, get your ass down here, it's going off. You keep on stepping, stepping, stepping on me now. When I'm down, you keep on tripping, tripping, tripping on me. When I'm down. Uh, my name's Nat Young. 
and I'm from Santa Cruz, California. In the beginning, at the beach break, I was really scared, and I would paddle way outside, and then I started going on bigger waves, and I wasn't as scared anymore. I've always wanted to come and get barreled, and that's what I did. It's about dying, don't be scared, you know it's up to The point is perfect. It's sand spit going left. seeing a couple stars <laughs> Jenny Useldinger caught the biggest wave any other girl has ever surfed here in Puerto Escondido. She blew everybody's mind. And if that you're thinking you're ready to give it a try. Jen, I, uh, I was fortunate to make it to Puerto this summer. I've been wanting to come for quite a few months now, and today I got the best wave of my life. And if you say that you want it, and girl, you know you need it, and say that you don't want to be caught between someone else and you. One of the first pairs I came up with when I came to Porto was let our boobs be bigger than our balls and help us to just fucking go. <laughs> friend David Rutherford, we used to surf here when I was small.
ashes of what's left as long as these hearts beat in our chests and we fell through the railings and pain well i remember those days when like me and checo my other homeboy you know we were like just like little cacahuates time go by we kind of got more huevos you know skinny vatos but we still can handle it there we go we'll share this same old song I got to say, pues, que saque los huevos, ¿no? Y que te vengas para Puerto a surfear. Eh, sí, ven para Puerto y enséñame los huevos que tiene para surfear, ¿no? Allá adentro. Come down to Puerto, you gotta check out Bungalow Zicatella. 